So today I'm gonna share four pieces of advice when it comes to maintaining your street art, your murals, your public art, and that is because it's easy to create a mural, but it's a lot more energy when it comes to maintaining a mural. Your murals can be damaged for any number of reasons from human factors when it comes to vandalism, or it could be a building owner wanting to do renovation, so they cut into the wall that you just painted on, or it could be sun damage. So the goal is really just to make sure that your murals are looking good for the long run. So tip number one is remembering the colors that you use. Whenever you're doing a project and you're painting a mural, you wanna make sure that you document all the colors that you're using in that project. So if you're using spray paint or if you're using latex paint, you wanna make sure you document all the different brands and all the different colors that you're using. And that is because if I have to go back and paint over a section with a very similar color, I wanna make sure that I'm using that exact same color and not guessing. If you have to just fix a certain section, you wanna make sure you know exactly what colors you were using in that section. So it's very important sometimes to actually keep those receipts at the paint shop or even get an account because sometimes the paint shops will let you know what colors you use or bought during a certain project. So for a lot of the projects that I do, I not only keep the receipts, but I also take a picture of the spray paint color that I'm using. Or it could be the top of the gallon buckets that have the name of the colors or the different sort of serial numbers that they have for each of the colors. So I'm taking documentation of everything that I'm using. Tip number two is always use quality materials and appropriate materials for that specific project. There are some brands of paint that are really cheap and over the long run you can tell they're cheap because the colors fade and there's some brands of paint where the colors last a long time, they may be more expensive. So whenever you're doing a project and you wanna make sure that it lasts a long time, make sure that you're using quality paint. So don't go for the cheapest one because you will pay in the end when the colors fade or the paint is cracking and you have to go back and keep repairing things. So when I go with latex paint, I usually go with Bear Marquee or the Bear Premium Plus. And when I go with spray paint, I usually go with Montana Gold because that lasts the longest. So I'm always using the best quality paint that I can sort of afford for that project. Also too, make sure that you're using the appropriate type of paint as well. Because paint can be formulated for indoors or outdoors, when you're using a lot of house paint or latex paint, make sure that you're using the appropriate paint for that location. So if you're doing a mural outside, make sure that you're using exterior paint and not interior paint because interior paint isn't formulated to sort of withstand a lot of that sun damage. So you wanna make sure that you're using the appropriate paint for that wall, for that situation. And tip number three is make sure that you invest in a clear coat that protects from things like tags and things like UV uh, rays, sun damage. This will help you out in the long run uh, when it comes to maintaining your murals because then if someone tags your mural, you're able to easily clean it off, power wash it off without having to repaint certain sections. And if you're in a very sunny place uh, in the world where you're sort of painting or your wall is directed towards the sun where it gets a lot of sun throughout the day, you don't want your colors to fade. So having a clear coat that has UV protection is really important. You wanna make sure that the sun doesn't damage the pigment in your colors and fade the colors over time. You wanna make sure that your mural is very saturated and pops with the reds and blues and whatever color that you're using. So I use a couple of different clear coats. I use a Sherman Williams clear coat. I also use a clear coat from Mural Shield. They both do a great job. They're really expensive, but it's worth the cost. And I'll have videos attached to this video that will show you how I use some of those clear coats. And tip number four is document references and materials you use to scale up your work and to you know install the mural a lot of times when we're repairing a mural sometimes an entire section may be missing whether that's renovation from the owner or it could be a big tag on the wall 
we sometimes forget exactly how we scaled it up and how we got those proportions just right. So to repair your mural really quick, you wanna make sure that you have, you know, those reference photos that you were using during that project. So a lot of times when I'm scaling up my work, I'm using a doodle grid and I store that doodle grid in my iPad. So I have a project folder for each specific site that I'm painting on and I make sure that I keep it there so that if I have to do a repair on that wall, I can just go on my iPad, that folder in my Procreate app, bring it up and I know exactly where to sort of repair those lines, especially if there is a lot of damage and I'm having to recreate a large portion of that mural. So hopefully this helped out when it comes to thinking about different areas to sort of address when you're creating your mural so that afterwards when you're sort of maintaining the mural is going to be a lot easier if things do happen because creating the artwork is fun but maintaining the artwork is just a lot of work and a lot of times it's annoying so we want to make sure that we make it easy on ourselves when it comes to the time the money the resources we have to allocate to maintaining those pieces that we create in the world so hopefully you like the video you got a lot out of it make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you're notified whenever I do videos like this and I'll see you next time. Peace.